I came straight out the penitentiary in 1991 to the state of Maryland on an interstate compact. I came here straight out the penitentiary. I had a, I had three years here, you know what I'm saying, on paper. 91, I came here and I was homeless when I came here. You feel me? It's about the criminalization of poverty. But I came here for a reason. I came here because I wanted to change my life and change what I was doing. I set a president setting case and I couldn't stay in Waukegan, Illinois because I wanted to end the war on drugs. I wanted to stop the, the, the violence that gets going across America. I want to save my kids' life. We want to bury our kids. You look at State of Maryland, Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, and this is who I am. All right. Legal Eagle. All right. View cases. All right. Illinois Appellate Division, 1988. All right. It's reversed and remanded. That means that I'm innocent of those charges. When I was reversed and remanded, everything that you charged me with, I, I, you got to try me again. So I was making a movie and a documentary about the war on drugs because I wanted to end the war on drugs. I used this as a, this was my 401k. I was making a movie about this. After a jury trial, he was found guilty on all counts. Judgment was entered only on the theft conviction. The defendant was sentenced to a term of three years in the Department of Correction. The appeal defendant argues that he was not proven guilty of theft beyond a reasonable doubt. The jury was improperly instructed that the trial court abused its discretion, imposing a maximum sentence. This was the first time I ever got arrested. I turned in guns and drugs to the police and you gave me the maximum. I didn't steal the guns. I, I purchased the guns with drugs. I showed the power of the drugs. You feel me? I'm in the law books, baby. The state of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. So I want to take this case to the Supreme Court. I want to take the war on drugs to the Supreme Court. It says right here, which op op opposes guns and drugs and stealing, all right? Shorty's program, my shorty program. You feel me? The shorty program I brought into Baltimore. Instead of guns and drugs, I used a fucking toilet, and your dumb ass has locked me up for the same shit. I'm in the law books, baby. I gave you this information. The, it says the defendant was walking down the middle of the county street in Waukegan carrying a shotgun over his shoulder. Witnesses saw him fire the shotgun into the air several times. Police arrived soon after the defendant dropped the shotgun and put his hands up over his head. Defendant apparently did not resist arrest but was also found carrying a 25 caliber automatic, a 32 caliber pistol. And witnesses in the trial say a 25 caliber was one of the guns stolen. No, I was a gun dealer. I sold guns and drugs in, in, in Lake County, Illinois. That's what I was, a gun dealer. I wanted to stop selling guns. I wanted to stop selling death. And the best way to do it was to turn myself in. I not only turned myself in, I turned in my client list. I gave you the shorty program. I turned in the client list. So I, uh, who up, all right, the person commits theft when he knowingly obtains control over stolen property. You obtained, the state of Maryland did the same thing. You took my truck, my computer, and my movies. You feel me? Obtains control over stolen property. You stole my property. You feel me? The same thing that you locked me up for is the same crimes that you committed. And I used the courts to do it. You feel me? I know my law. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I defended myself. It is clear that the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution provides for the right of self-representation. I got a right of self-representation. I fired my lawyer and defended myself. I'm a precedent-setting case. So the next, thing is I'm, the next time I'm going to set a precedent is in the Supreme Court. We're going to take the war on drugs to the Supreme Court. Because like I said, I was innocent of these charges. It was reversed and remanded. By it being reversed and remanded. By it being reversed and remanded means that you got to try me on it. If you don't try me on it, matter of fact, you can't try me on it. Because the statute of limitations ran out. So I'm innocent of those charges. And when the, when the state brought those charges up against me, that was prejudice. That was prejudice towards the jury. When you said something about this case, you should have referred to the reverse and the remand that it was reversed and remanded. So in 2019, we're taking this case to the to the Supreme Court. Not only the Supreme Court, we're taking it to the grand jury. You're gonna have to explain why you locked me up and you used that case against me. 
Schellenberger, Hogan. We're going to talk about this. We're going to address this. You feel me? We're going to address it. Racism in the courts, the law on drugs, jailhouse diary, 2011, whistleblower's application. I was blowing the whistle in and I'm blowing the whistle now. You feel me? City of Waukegan. You feel me? Our criminal justice system is based on theory that the idea that once an individual serves his sentence that theirs have completed their punishment, paid their dues to society, and upon the completion of can resume a life as a participating member of society. In practice, our criminal justice system does not permit an individual to leave the criminal past behind. You sure don't, because you charged me with terrorism on three occasions. This happened in 1988. This is over 40 years ago. You've been holding this over my head for over 40 years. So now we're going to address it. We're going to address it in the courts. Because like I said, Adam May, I hope this video puts you on the same page. Yeah. We're going to talk about my false imprisonment and my legal incarceration. It was a snitching video about this case. And it showed... Our councilman, Julian Jones, dog, we want all this in front of the state, in front of the jury. We want it in front of the 2019 legislative session, because like I said, I'm coming for a grand jury. I'm out $2.6 million, and the state participated in the fraud. We're talking about the war on drugs. I was making a movie, dog. The movie was about y'all. The movie was about our politics and politicians. Ain't no logins making a movie. Ain't... Ain't no logins making a movie. Letters Design is just one movie. I got 13 movies. That gives me 14 different movies. That $2.6 million is going to help finance the movies. That $2.6 million is what you owe me. We're talking about the war on drugs. And we're going to make a movie about the war on drugs. Imagine this. People versus, the state, people versus Davis. I'm in the case of dog logs. I'm a precedent setting case. So we're going to talk about the criminalization of poverty. I'm a poster child for this shit. Charge me with something. Charge me with terrorism. Ain't going to get it. Go to Sam Cunningham. Go to Mary Cunningham. Go to the Baltimore County courts and get all my evidence. We're going to put, we're going to put the court on trial in 2019. Either access to the grand jury or a writ of sociority to the Supreme Court. Sam Cunningham has my writ of sociority. I dropped it off last week. Okay? He got that on Monday of last week. 